My name is Chris Badillo, your head golf professional here at Wycliffe Golf and Country Club. Today I want to do a little video on bunker etiquette. So as you can see, the first thing that I've done as I came into the bunker was I located the rake, which is outside the bunker, and I've entered the bunker on the lowest point. As you can see over here, the bunker has a higher face on this side, which is where we do not want to enter the sand. Entering the sand at the lowest point, which is right here to my left, will allow you to make less of an impact on the sand as you enter it. So that's rule number one and two. Always enter the sand in the lowest point. And number two is make sure you locate and bring the rake with you as you come into the bunker. Okay? Rule number three. We always have the option of removing loose impediments in the bunker, such as this rock. If your golf ball is next to this rock, we do not want you to play the golf ball with the rock in your way. That could damage the club or hurt yourself. So loose impediments are always allowed to be removed from the bunker around your golf ball when you're about to hit your bunker shot. Okay? Here's a little bit of a uh, just description or a, an a example of entering the sand on the higher side. I'm going to exit the sand on the higher side, which we don't want to do, but I'm going to show you the impact that it makes on the face of the bunker. As you can see there, the face of the bunker has now been diminished. Therefore, the bunker is not playable in that location. So we really want you to focus on entering and exiting at the lowest point of the bunker so you don't have to damage the faces of the bunkers throughout the day. The next thing, when you're raking a bunker, so we've hit our shot, and it's time to rake the bunker. So we grab the, the rake, we can set our club outside the bunker, and we want to rake everything that we've done to the bunker. Footprints, divots, uh, ball marks, that if they plug, you want to fix the plug ball marks. And again, the most important thing is fix your footprints. Your footprints are part of your time in the bunker. So we want to rake everything that we've done, including footprints, okay? You're going to lightly rake your way all the way out of the bunker, take a step up, and you're done. We'll ask that you do also keep the rake outside the bunker on the lip of the bunker there. If you have any questions about bunker etiquette, please stop in the golf shop and ask any of our professionals. We'll be happy to help. My name is Chris Cedillo, your head golf professional here at Wycliffe. Have a wonderful day.